And now comes the nerve wracking part. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the anticipation and the hope and a little hint of fear, dare I say. I have been given the green light to go back from whence we came a couple of days ago when we went to look at the garden center and the annuals. And of course there were some orchids and yeah, it was just a show and tell, nothing more. But now it's turning out to be more than that. Fingers crossed. Hey, <laughs> hey, you guys, check this out. I got to my basket. Yes, Michael McCarthy and Orchid Ninja Sharon from Rare Roots of Joy or Joyous Orchids. Here we are back at the garden center. Thank you so, so much for giving me this opportunity. And we're not live, but I have permission to film here. So this is Agra Hardin, my favorite garden center. And look at what we've got in the viewfinder. Eeny, meeny, miny. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo, <laughs> shall we have a look at them and see which one we're going to take home? You know, it's always a little bit difficult when you're left with choices. But the last time we came to Agrohadin, we went and looked at all the annuals and uh, just kind of like uh, had a quick look -see <laughs> at all the orchids. And of course, the little yellow one stuck out and all the comments of that video. Also, the yellow one was, oh, you've got to get it. And we looked at the one there on the left just by chance for no other reason. So let's have a look at her and see what state she is in. I was given a condition. I'm not allowed to pick one with a terminal spike. So we will follow those instructions to a T. There she is. She's got beautiful roots. I can't read that name at the moment. If there is a name, maybe it's just the passport number. I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on, but look at those roots. Oh, she's an eager root grower. I love it. I love it. Let's hold the media in. Give her a bit of a tilt. She's beautiful. Before I show you the balloons, let me have a sniff. No sniffs, no sniffs, just a waxy, waxy fragrance. But we've got two spikes. She likes to branch. Now, of course, in my conditions, with my circumstances, I'm not expecting to get a blooming like this next time around but blooms nonetheless and what a cheerful little one she is you know <clears throat> when i was here last i was like not just dumbfounded because she's so cute but because she looked familiar and trisha's orchid life has one either the same or similar anyway she is a great little candidate she could be one for the patio for us to take home. Yeah, we'll keep her in mind, but we'll put her back because I don't want to be hogging these orchids. But we have another one over there, back there. Let's go have a look-see. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> what do we see what we didn't see with the other one? Whoop. She's got active growth goings. Yes, I'm here with a lot of other customers, so if you hear a child, the sound of angels singing. Any child noise in my books is the sound of angels singing. So let's just hold on to the media again, give her a bit of a tilt. She already has a little bit of water in her. She still doesn't need to be watered, but look at that. So she has a leaf growing. Let me just make sure I watch out for all the other people here. Same blooms, of course same orchid i wonder if she smells you know sometimes you can find one <laughs> all the rest don't smell and then all of a sudden one comes up with a fragrance so she's cute too i don't mind the ruffling on the leaves here but yes this is how i inspect anything <laughs> that i buy when it comes to orchids maybe there are some tips here for you to see notice take note of we have some roots in stress to be expected, but for the most part, she is looking wonderful. 
Yeah, we'll put her back. We'll go on to number three. Candidate number three. Also a wonderful root system. So there's really not much between them when it comes to picking because of how many roots. I think she's got a lot more roots than the other ones we've seen. Maybe it's just me. Let me check. And then she has also a few more buds to open. Now, the thing with the buds and everything, mm, as much as we want to enjoy the blooms, by moving her and getting an orchid home, that is going to cause issues. There could be bud blast, it's a change of environment. I have made sure that I have nothing scheduled, but to bring this yellow cutie home to the collection, introduce her to the rest without any stops in between, because it's also quite warm outside. It's warmer outside than it is inside. So I do anticipate bud blast. All this with the branching, it doesn't impress me. That's not what I'm looking for. Mainly roots, and I liked the idea of the active growth. So. Let's go back to candidate number two. So I am in between number two with active growth already and three. Number three's roots have me bowled over in comparison to this one. You see, courtesy of Rare Roots of Joy, Joyous Orchids, both Orchid Ninja Sharon Sun and Michael McCarthy, they make this possible. <laughs> And of course, I want to get it right. We are under pressure once again when it comes to gifts. Let me have a look at number one again. <laughs> number one, number two. Maybe I should just ignore active growth because number three had more roots. I'm so tempted with active growth. I'm always tempted when it comes to active growth. And I think that is the best thing as well. That's something that we all should do is go with active growth. Ah, number three, number two. What you see white there is not pests. That's some dust, some residual dust. Oh, I'm so tempted with active growth, but look at the root system of candidate number two. You can't ignore that there's so much more going on here. So I'm always tempted to go with active growth. But in this case, you cannot deny that the root system of number two is so much more vigorous. There's a lot more to work with here. At least from what you can see outside, what happens inside, different story. Number two it is. She is coming home. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot tell you. <laughs> By the way, have I even said hello? <laughs> hey, we're in Agra Hardin and we get to bring a beautiful little orchid home. It never gets old. I don't care how many decades I've grown orchids or been involved with orchids. Always getting a new orchid. I am so excited. I'm over the moon. Let's get her to the patio. Precious cargo wedged in between my shopping. Oh, the tentative drive back. <laughs> very, very close to me because every corner, every little slight jolt, I can quickly reach to one of the spikes. And let's see if we can bring her to the patio without dropping a bud. Doesn't mean that we may not get bud blast anyway, simply because we're moving her from one environment to another and poor little one is stressed, but we're gonna give it our best shot. Whoa, going down here at a snail's pace. It's all a little bit jiggly. Holding on to my little one. Speaking of little one on the way back, Michael McCarthy left a comment and suggested a name. And I think it is so sweet, so memorable and very, very touching because Correctamundo. I am touched by that name. Michael remembered my first summer fowl that I lost. Unfortunately, she was the first one to leave the collection due to the winter conditions. And she was yellow and she had much brighter spottings. Her name was Giraffe. So Michael came up with a name and I see what you did there. Her name is going to be Nin Giraffe. Nin Giraffe. 
I see it. I see it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> so let's make a concerted effort and get Ninja Raf home safely. <laughs> And here she is on the patio, cartwheels around the patio, so, so happy. She is so cute. She looks even better in daylight, in beautiful light. Oh, my word. If my memory doesn't fail me, we pick candidate two. <laughs> I've got a little bit mind blown, you know, <laughs> brain fog since we've left the garden center because of the root system. And all the way, on my way back, I was thinking, ah, active growth, should have gone with active growth, but active growth is imminent, if not already underway. Now, my eyes may be deceiving me, but something is happening in there. I think something is happening in there. When I brushed my nail over it very, very gently, I felt a little protrusion. So we've got the best of both worlds. Best root system. We don't need to soak her right now. And active growth and purdy purdy blooms. Ninja Raff is on the patio. Thank you so, so much, Michael McCarthy and Rare Roots of Joy, Joyous Orchids. I will put all their links into the description just so that you know who I am talking about. So. Thank you so, so much for making this possible. Ninja Raf, bienvenido a casa. This video deserves many, 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 many likes, as well as many, 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 many shares, because why not share the joy that I'm feeling right now? And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, well, what are you waiting for? Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, have yourself a beautiful day. On that one condition, though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. Ninja Raff, Ninja Raff, Ninja Raff, Ninja Raff. <laughs> oh, so happy. <laughs>